This is Lori with ArtedDesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, we're going to be creating this paint splatter background. And it's just a graphic, a background sort of thing, but you could use it for a logo, for example. Um, I was working on one for paintball games. That was pretty neat. Um, so something like that. Anyways, it's uh, kind of fun. So let's get started. We'll go to File, Document Properties, Uncheck Show Page Border, We'll close out of this menu. We'll go to View, Zoom, One to One, and we'll open up our Align and Distribute, Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients menu. And we'll start by grabbing this Circles tool here. Press Shift and Control to create a perfectly round circle. And mine has no color, so I guess we'll give it this pink color down here. That's what I was working with earlier. Or whatever color you want to choose. I'll choose this dark pink for now. So we'll go to the nodes tool here, and then we'll go path, uh, oops, path, object to path, and you'll see we get a bunch of nodes. Let's select all of these nodes, and then we'll click this button here. It says insert new nodes into selected segments. We'll click it twice, one, two, and you'll see all these new nodes appeared. Click off the graphics so we don't have them all selected. And then we're just gonna pull out one, skip two, two, Skip two, three, skip two, four, and then we're gonna skip two, uh, actually no, we'll, we'll put a little tiny one over here, and then we'll put a little tiny one over here. So between these two little ones, you'll have two nodes here. So let's select these inner nodes here, and we'll make them smooth, smooth. Make sure you're just selecting the inner ones, whoops. Sorry about that. Um, smooth. And make those smooth and this one here, make that smooth. Now this, all these top nodes here, we're gonna make them symmetrical and then shift and control and we'll pull it out so it gets kind of a, a fat top here. Same thing on all of them, so it'll get a little bit repetitive. Make sure you click on symmetrical, press shift and control and pull out one node. Symmetrical, shift and control. And you don't have to do it exactly how I'm doing it. Um, you can play with your nodes and try out different uh, different nodes. We'll see what they do. This is just the way that I'm doing it. Shift and control and pull it out. Okay, so once you've got that far, let's zoom out a little bit. And we're going to select all of these nodes. And then we're going to go back here. We're going to insert new nodes, but we're only going to click it one time. And you'll see it goes around each handle here so we'll be able to edit a little bit better. What we're going to do is we're going to pull these necks in a little bit to give them some character. I'm going to click off it so I can see what I'm doing here. And these little ones, don't pull them in too far, they just won't look right. So just play with it. Okay, so now we have these nodes in the center. We're gonna pull out a few, but just this one will make small. Maybe this one will make a little bigger. Pull it out to here, and maybe this one will be like smaller, and this one can be bigger, something like that. And um, I'll pull this one in a little more, and then I'm going to grab maybe all three of these and see if I can pull it out a little bit more. Then I'll see if there, that looks better. Um, we'll, this is optional, you don't need to do this. Um, I'm grabbing three nodes at a time and then just pulling it out. And maybe I'll just pull that one out. And I don't know why those are on. I don't need those on. 
I'll just make that a little smoother. Take that off too. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll smooth this one out a little bit. And just uh, pull the node handles. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go to, let's click off the graphic to deselect it. And then we'll go to the circles tool here. Press shift and control, create a perfectly round circle and we'll go path, object to path. And we'll get our nodes tool and you see our nodes here. Let's grab both middle ones here. Press control and pull up with your mouse. And this one here, let's make that round and press control and move that up a little bit. Just so it's a little rounded. This one here, um, you can make it a corner if you want to, but that I think it's a little bit too, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I do. I think it's a little bit too sharp. You can use it if you like. I'm just going to uh, maybe pull it down a little bit. Actually, maybe I will make it a corner. Let's make this a corner, double click and select. And I'm going to duplicate this, right click, go to duplicate. And then I'm going to put it in these, uh, uh, at the back of these points here. So I'm going to click it again to get the rotation handles. And put it about here. And that's maybe a bit large, so I'm going to scale it down using shift and control. All right, that looks a little better. And we'll duplicate this again, control D. And I don't think I'll put one, maybe I'll put a little one over there. I'll uh, get the rotation handles, turn it around. And let's place it about here. And that's too big, so we'll scale that down. And uh, I'll leave, well, you know, I'll scale it down a little bit more. Something like that, and duplicate one more time. Control D, and I'm gonna pull this one down here. I'm actually gonna make this one narrow, just to be different. And then I'll uh, get the rotation handles, and I'll put it here. Maybe I'll shrink that down a little bit, and turn. And um, maybe I'll go to the nodes. I'll move that one in just a little bit. And I'll go select and I'll put this last one over here. And uh, maybe I'll scale that one in too. Um, shift and control will make it smaller. And uh, I'll rotate it so it's facing the right way. And that is how you can make a paint splatter graphic using Inkscape. Let's group this together. And um, if you want to make more, you just control D, we'll duplicate it using the shortcut. And we'll put this one over here. We'll choose a different color of pink. Um, maybe we'll scale this one down and we'll click on it again to get the rotation handles just so it's different. Uh, and just place and arrange them. Control D to duplicate. Maybe this one will be on the blue scale. Let's choose this one. And, whoops, did I duplicate it? Yeah, I did, okay. So this one could be even smaller. And um, just to make it different than the others, we'll just rotate it and so on and so forth and you get the idea. So that's uh, kind of a fun way to make a paint splatter and it could double as a, you know, a glass of milk splatter um, or an ink splatter depending on your coloring and shading and designs. So if you like your, if you like this tutorial, like, subscribe, let me know and as always, thank you for watching.